let me show you exactly how to use the memory kick. The memory kick, to power it on, you can actually, you see where it says the home button, you push and hold down for two seconds and it'll boot up. After it boots up, what can you do with, all, with the memory kick? You can take a CF card. You can put in the CF card, you open that place right there, you stick the CF card gently in the slot. After you put push in the slot, you'll notice that it says backup CF to HDD. If I click the center button, it would back up everything I have from the CF card to the memory kick. Or I can actually browse the CF card. It allows me to go through. Let's say that I just want to copy this photo to the memory kick. I push and I hold down for two seconds the center button that it says copy to HDD. Instantly it will copy one file or all the files from a memory card, the CF card that's in there, to the device. Once it's copied to the device, you will always find all of the information in the file explorer. You just click the center button. The interface right here is not where you turn around. You just click up, down, right, left, and center. HDD, so if I go into the HDD, it'll be in the transferred folder section. And then you'll notice that in the transferred folder section, it actually dates and timestamps and the numbers all of the transfers. So this one right here, you can see it's the, the second one that I've done today. So you can see the CF card is in here and you can see that it's transferred the information. So there's that photo that transferred. Now for your professional photographers out there, this does and is compatible to most camera manufacturers raw formats. All of the Canons, Nikons, most of the Olympuses, um, almost all of them out there, this will show the RAW format. If, here's a RAW picture right here. Now, what you can do is after you've transferred all of your, the information, whether it's a CF card, you can also go in and you can place in this slot a, an SD card, an XD card, or a memory stick. Same thing, if I click the back SD to HDD, it would back instantly all of the information from the SD to the device. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. Because what you can do is at, when you, in the file explorer, you'll see all the list of your files, just like a file directory on a Windows or Macintosh. You go in, and what you do is you select the photos that you actually want to put into the galleries. The galleries are the list where you'll see the photo gallery, music gallery, and video gallery. So once again, whenever your transfers, it goes to the transfer section. You go into the transfer folder, folder section, and then you can decide what you move to the galleries. I'm gonna go back, file explorer, CF, transferred folders, I'm going to go pick a photo, I'm going to pick this photo, I'm going to cl click the center button, then I'm going to click the center button on the next picture, I'm going to hold it down. When I hold it down, you'll see copy to, send to, you could actually, something very unique about this device is I could copy from the device back to the CF card, back to the SD card. I could actually copy from the SD card to the CF too, and I'll show you how to do that a little later. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send those files to the media library. The media library is like a favorite list. It's like what you can set up, you can choose as many files as you want, as little files as you want, and once you can see that it's moved to the media library. So now I'm going to go to the media library of the photos. Click the center button, and you're going to see the, all of the files that I've placed into my photo gallery. If I click the right button again, you'll actually be able to see the photo. You can scroll through the photo by just hitting the down button. If it has XF information, you can hit the right button and you, you'll see the XF information about that photo. I can go down. On the file list, you'll see exactly 
how large it is and the time that uh, it's date stamped. Now besides just photos and moving photos over, the Media Center also has the availability to listen to music. So I've transferred some music in, I've moved it, I've moved it to my music gallery. So now I'm going to go in and listen to some music. Same thing, just click the right button on the music that you want to. You'll see the photo album come up if it's available and then it'll start playing. If you want to change the volume on it, you hold down the center button for two seconds and then the volume pop up and then I can change the volume. stop it, just hit the center button, now I can go back. Now anytime you want to go back to the main menu where you can get to your photos, your music, your movies, your favorites, your transferred folders, you just hit this home button and it instantly takes you back. So now we've seen the photos, we've seen, listened to some music, you can actually put the headphones that are supplied in the packaging right in the slot that says AV out and headphones and you can listen, use your headphones. So now we're going to go watch a video on here. Same thing, just like the photos, just like the music, I'm going to hit the center button, I'm going to go over, and now it's going to show a video. So now I've used it as my photo backup solution, I've used it as a photo viewer, I've used it as an mp3 player, uh, now I'm using it as a video player too. Now what's very interesting about this device uh, is that you can like it, you, we already have the CF card and the X, SD card in. I'm also going to put in a thumb drive. Why am I going to put in a thumb drive? I'm going to have all three in at the same time. This is the perfect device for you to carry around. It's only, it's very lightweight, 5.6 ounces. It can fit in your pocket. It can fit for men in your jacket pocket. You can take it anywhere you want to go. And what you can do is I can take and I can transfer, use it as a card reader from the CF card to the USB, from the SD card to the USB, or any files or my entire all of my files from my memory kick to the thumb drive. How do you do that? You go to the file explorer. When you're in the file explorer, you'll see the list of all of the memory cards that are actually into the uh, memory kit. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to go find a file, you just hit to the right. I'm going to go to my photos, list where I have a list of a number of photos. I'm going to go down, I'm going to click, there's a photo of a wedding. So I'm going to hit the center button. After I hit the center button, I'm going to hold it down. It'll let you copy to anywhere. So it says, SD memory, CF memory, or USB memory. I'm going to go down to USB memory. I'm going to copy it to the USB memory. So I'm going to take it out. Now I've just copied a file from the memory kick to the USB thumb drive. Take it and go. Why is this important? How can you use it? You can basically back up and use this as your portable backup solution. You can put all your files on it. I have my entire computer on mine, so anywhere I am, I can give a photo to a, a family or friend. I can give business files to a, an associate. I can basically make, it makes all of the files, all of your media, media completely portable. And it's not only for the thumb drive. I can transfer, like you saw, to any of the other devices. Now with your media center, you could actually connect it to your computer. At the PC slot right here, you, you connect using the supplied USB to the computer and then you can move over all of your files to the computer. You can keep your business files on here. You can create directories. You can rename directories. You can move over all of the, your photos in your photo section. In the file explorer, you'll actually see that there is your My Photos section my music section, my videos. Kind of like Windows Explorer where you can go in and it has those folders. 